What's up, guys? Uh, throwing out some quick updates here, just to uh, get it out. Uh, I've been meaning to do a whole bunch of stuff, like I said in the past, about two weeks. I've just been, uh, ended up having a lot of crap go down uh, with work in the Navy and shit I wasn't expecting, and I haven't really been around, and uh, our park's actually going to open up a little earlier. We're doing, we've been doing winter games during the weekends, so I haven't had any chance during the weekends at all. Uh... I've just been so damn busy, so I'm funny. So, here's a quick update vid. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to do two more videos. It'll be probably, I don't know, good 15 minute kind of things. Good stuff, uh, how to build stuff, that kind of stuff. So, real quick, just what's going on. Ooh, that hurt. Anyway. I finished my LPR shocker, as you guys can see. It's got the uh, evil LPR on it. And, uh, yeah, if you guys weren't aware that, um, uh, Shockers have LPRs, there you go. Uh, four companies made LPRs for Shockers, however, it's not necessary because the Shocker was designed to be used without an LPR. So, this is the Evil LPR, which just replaces the vertical reg adapter, and the reg screws right into the LPR. And it's got a LPR gauge right here, and a, uh, HPR gauge right over here. And, um... After a whole bunch of tuning and messing with it, and there's a lot of really nice parts in this gun, um, the Shocker now consistently shoots at about 140 PSI, which, if you guys don't have Shockers, or you're shooting other things, like poppets, even just impulses, uh, stuff like that, 140 PSI really isn't anything compared to any of these other guns. But for a Shocker, that's almost legendary, um, for a Shocker to shoot that low. And I've got it consistently shooting without any bolt stick or anything like that. Um, I'm going to take it out tomorrow. Today is Thursday. Uh, we have a... Excuse me. We've got a private game at our park on Saturday. So I'll have a bunch of time. I'm going to take this and about two other guns. Go out and do some shooting videos. See how they perform. I've already test shot this once. Shot alright. We're going to go out there and check it again. But uh, this was kind of like a custom shocker build. I threw this thing together out of all these parts I kind of had laying around. And I bought, I had to buy a few things. So in here is the bulkhead. It's nothing special. I think it's just the, uh, yeah, it's just the uh, Smart Parts HE bulk kit. Uh, Tauntaun frame, as you can see, which was a pain in the ass to get it to fit. Uh, inside there, if you guys can see that, because the LPR kind of, flushes back and it's supposed to be end up being flush with a stock frame and it was kind of a pain in the ass. I had to mill out a little bit of the inside of the LPR because uh, the Tauntaun frame wasn't too long. Uh, the, I don't know, the little uh, brackets on either side where this thing comes down, it's the, uh, this little extension on the LPR wasn't wide enough so I just kind of had to shave off a little bit of the wall and uh, this thing already kind of had some Dremel damage to it from the guy I bought it from. So I really didn't do anything that it didn't already have happened to it. But, I mean, you really can't see it because it's all on the inside, so it doesn't look bad at all. It looks, I think it looks really cool with the Tauntaun frame. Anyway, uh, I had to pick up a rig, so I figured I might as well get red and match everything else. It's uh, just an 05 Dynasty SFT rig. Uh, inside the Tauntaun frame is a Blackheart board. Uh, I had that laying around, so I used it. Right in here is a critical trigger, which is, I think, definitely my favorite trigger for shockers, by far. Uh, new designs, talon grip. The detents are stock. Nothing special about those. Other than that, in this crazy barrel, because this is the only other spare barrel I had laying around with SFT threads, even though it didn't come from an SFT shocker or anything around the era, this is the stock the back the tip is definitely just a regular AA tip but the back you can see the jewel on it I think camera's being a little bit bitch there it is you can see the jewel on it but I don't know if the camera's gonna zoom in or not like that but right in the middle of the 2O is right in the middle of there there's a little tiny word that says sport it's the stock barrel from a old shoebox shocker I have no idea where the hell I got this thing, and I just noticed it because the word sport on there is really tiny, so I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, 
that's about it. I just threw on a uh, rail and uh, an ASA that I had from a different gun just to get everything rolling. So there it is. The LP Shocker is done and you guys will see a video of this thing on. Um, as far as usability, I mean there's really no point to make an LPR Shocker. It's just kind of a cool nostalgia thing for me because I collect all the smart parts crap. Um, there are, again, like I said, three other companies out there that make the LPRs. Um, I'm looking for those consistently so I can have one of each and build a shocker off of it. But uh, they're extremely rare. They weren't made too long. Uh, most of the companies that made them, one went under because it was free flow. And then the other ones just stopped very quickly because it just wasn't a popular upgrade. It wasn't necessary. So there's the LPR shocker. The other thing I'm going to sh go shoot this weekend is this, the Danish Power F7 that I got in that trade. And uh, I think you guys saw the unboxing video when I first got it, and I was going through the list of problems that I found with it. Um, I ripped it apart, cleaned it. Uh, I think my major concern when I did the unboxing was the trigger. First of all, it's an optical switch, which I just don't like. I like micro switches. But um, the trigger was so horribly tuned it wasn't even funny. I couldn't even keep a ramp going. It was just that bad. Uh, so it took a little while, but I tuned the trigger. I like the shape. It's almost, you know, it's got that intimidator kind of shape looking going on, and I, I definitely like that. I have, I like the, uh, I don't like like the rake style. I like, I definitely like this having the bottom stick out like that. So it's cleaned, ready to go. I finally figured out how to switch the board. Uh, I can't remember if I put it up or anything like that, or I might have complained about it on the forums or something like that. The board in this thing took me forever to figure out how to program, because I went on and got the manual for the Dangerous Power F7. They're just, you know, the Dangerous Power Fusion. And it was nothing like the programming that is on this board, and I don't know if that's because this gun is an LE, the limited edition things, and it got different software, or I tried looking everywhere in Dangerous Power's website, I asked around, nobody knew what the hell was going on. <clears throat> so just, again, just, I am fairly biased towards Dangerous Power, I really don't care for the guns, or the company, really, in general. And just, you know, stuff like that, like consistency. I mean, if you're going to put different software in a gun, because it's an, a limited edition gun, it's going to have a limited edition board, that's fine. Put a manual out for it. That's not that big of a deal. You don't have to put a whole another manual out just for the gun, just the board. A small one-page little thing that just explains that, okay, here are the different flashing lights. There's one more flashing light than on the stock board. Here's just a list of the flashing lights, and most of that crap you can probably copy and paste from the original manual they wrote. Not hard. This is not rocket science. I don't think. I don't know. I don't build guns. I'm not a paintball company. God damn it, it doesn't look hard to me. So, moving on. Stop ranting about Daniel Tower. I'm going to shoot one more gun this weekend, do a video of it. I don't know what it's going to be, though. So if you guys want to see a gun that I have, I think you guys know. I did a gun tour video not too long ago. Uh, all the Timmy's, all the Impulses, Shockers, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see something shot, let me know. I know this video is going to be up on Friday by the time I get this up, so it'll be a little bit short notice. But if you guys watch it and you want to see something in particular, hit me up. Or if you know me on the forums, hit me up. And then the other big announcement I have right now is um, if you guys are Shocker Owners out there and you have been for a little while, you probably remember the old ShockerOwners.com forum. Uh, but the you know it's about the same stuff as the Intimidator group and the Impulse Owners and forum. Uh, Shocker Owners went down about a year ago. They shut down. I'm, I don't really remember why. I was never really part of it. But I restarted it. Uh, myself and a couple of the other guys uh, that I talked to from the Smart Parts thread on the uh, club section at PB Nation, or not PB Nation, excuse me, blasphemy, Check PB, went and started the new Shocker Owners forum. And right now it is up and live. It's uh, currently just being hosted on a free form hoster, um, just so we can get it started and get the community started and get people get the knowledge and you know get that out there. Uh, it is going into a legit website. 
Uh, currently, I have the domain name registered, and I'm talking to the hosting service that I'll be using right now. We're doing some back and forth stuff, uh, trying to just finite some details. So hopefully within the next week or so, shockerowners.com, the Shocker Owner Forum and Owners Group, will be up on online, ready to go. Um, if you guys want to come check out the free version that we have running, we just kind of like to go hang out there. It's a good spot to chill. There's a big, big nice chat box right up on top, so we can just sit there and hang out. And there's, you know, we got some still good stuff going. Still putting a lot of information out there, even though it's the free site and we're planning on moving soon. Still a lot of good stuff there. It's just kind of a cool hangout. Uh, I'll put the link in that right below here, and uh, you know, go check it out if. Uh, if you want to wait for the real, the legit site to come up, um, I'll put a video out and I'll put a link in there as soon as the real one comes up. And uh, really looking forward to it. And I just, you know, my Shocker Owner site went down, and uh, I'm basically doing it for the same reason that I do these videos and most of the videos that I've done. <clears throat> you know, I'm ripping apart SFT shockers and impulses and all this old stuff because the information is out there and it is on forums, it is on PB Nation, it is on Tech PB, it is on Carter Brown, it is on Impulse Owners. Um, you know, it is out there, but it's really hard sometimes because generally you have a really specific question and it's hard to flip through all these archives and archives and archives and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of threads for guys that have maybe asked a relatively the same question, but a lot of times I know I find that nobody's asked the specific question that I have. And then a lot of times you go to some of these places and you ask that question and you you might get lit up somewhere. And this is not just one form in particular, but any place. You know, I've seen it I've seen it happen everywhere, uh regardless of the community. And I'm definitely not, you know, I'm not trying to badmouth anybody. But you know, it happens because there is that one guy out there that's gonna be like that all the time. You're never gonna be able to get away from it. This is that's why I've been putting up the videos and stuff like that, and that's why I wanted to start shockerowners.com again. Uh, just you know, make the good community, to make the information easily accessible, so you're not going to PB Nation down to the Shocker Owners forum and then searching through threads and threads and threads and threads, or you're not going to Tech PB and going down to the uh, you're going trying to find jump on the Smart Parts uh, group and then ask us a question and maybe you get it back, maybe you don't are going to end up like the smart parts category and then ask it and maybe people look at that maybe they don't whatever I'm just making trying to make a collective community and a collective of good solid reliable information so you have guys that are out there with shockers they've got oh shit my shit ain't working you know oh, I don't know what's going on jump on the internet one click shockerowners.com go to the tech section go to the ask help section whatever it's already right there um, it's uh, currently the free site is being run by uh, myself and about four or five of the other guys from TechPV. And it will continue that way once it gets on the live thing. And uh, our whole aim is to be, you know, customer servicing group and community oriented. You know, if you ask a question, I want to be able to get somebody to get you a good solid answer and info back to you, you, you within, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour, I don't know. You know, something good, I don't, you know, and then just instead of having some random guy come up and be like, oh, I don't know, that's a good question, and nothing happens, I want to be able to have somebody go in there and be knowledgeable about the fact, so you're not perusing the internet and your gun's still not working and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that, you know, a kind of combination of the videos that I'm doing up here on YouTube and the Shocker Owner site, and, uh... I've been talking to and doing a lot of good stuff with uh, Impulse owners, um, you know, and they're great guys, and we're basically um, going to be running about the same kind of site. So I want stuff to be like that, that good, solid, feel-good community, no bashing, no bad-mouthing, none of that crap. So that's the intention with it, and uh, again, I'll let you know when the, the .com goes live. But, you know, for now, go check out the free one. Again, link in the description, and uh, we'll get back to you guys.